Hello everyone, Eric Weiss here with Full Cycle Product Development. How do you know if the product or the features that you're developing are gonna have an impact in your customers' lives? Um, there is nothing less efficient than working on the wrong things, right? Uh, and so I discovered a framework that I've used you know, throughout my career and I'm gonna teach you today um, to have an intention for and to measure in the impact of the features and, and the product that you deliver. Um, and it's called the heart framework. So if you know me, if you've been watching or listening to or reading any of my content, uh, you know I'm a big fan of a data-driven product roadmap. I'm a big fan of the pirate metrics model in particular. Um, and the purpose of that model of pirate metrics is to uh, evaluate and prioritize your potential features based on the business drivers, based on the bottom line, right? So acquisition, activation, retention, revenue, and referral, okay? Um, and that's great from a strategic perspective, but then I always get asked the question, how do you know whether the things that you implement are actually going to have uh, the impact that you desire? And so I was looking for a slightly different framework um, to measure it from a UX perspective. And I discovered uh, a framework developed by Google called the Heart Framework, okay? Um, and what this does is it allows you to, again, set an intention for, and then create um, metrics and uh, a sort of a way of evaluating different features um, based on their impact to the customer. So it's, whereas Pirate Metrics is kind of a business-centered uh, framework for evaluating features. Heart is very much a user-centered framework, so um, I like to use that. There is definitely some overlap, though, as you'll see. Okay, so the Heart framework stands for happiness, engagement, adoption, retention, and task success. So you do notice some over overlap there. Um, but, you know, rather than user acquisition, which matters to uh, the business, obviously, but a customer doesn't care about that, uh, instead we replace it with happiness. So does this feature create customer satisfaction as it's been developed, okay? Um, and then you have engagement, right? So is it something that gets people to use your product and continuing to come back? Um, uh, adoption, so does this, you know, is, is this new feature something that existing customers are going to, to use and use regularly? Uh, retention, does the feature cause them to come back time and time again? Um, and task success, so does it help them accomplish the goal um, that they've set out to, to accomplish with your product um, or with that feature? So, um, so with this model, uh, there's three, you can kind of create this matrix, but there are three uh, aspects of it. One is, is you have some kind of a goal. Um, and so with each of these features, you want to improve those metrics or have a high impact across those metrics, um, you know, to some degree that you can state uh, ahead of time. Um, some signals, meaning, you know, how will you know whether or not, especially with things like like happiness or task success, how will you know whether or not you're achieving the intended purpose? Um, and a lot of times it's gonna require feedback. You're gonna to have to talk to people or survey people um, in order to get that. Something like engagement, adoption, and retention can be measured through, you know, through data and through analytics, um, but happiness and task success you know, really have to be measured qualitatively. Um, and then metrics. So again, you know, from a from a data perspective, you know, how are we going to calculate? How are we going to measure this thing? And so um, you take all of this together, and you can you can score it. Um, you can you know have kind of a weighted average or an overall score, and then this can be the thing that feeds back into your roadmap. Um, so as you're delivering features, you know, this is a way for you to determine whether or not um, you know the features that you're releasing are really making a difference from a, from a user perspective. Um, and this is something too that you can bake into all of your customer feedback. So your, uh, your NPS surveys and things like that, um, you, know, you can create questions. I, you, know, you don't have to go so directly on the nose, um, but you can create questions around this in your NPS survey or in your customer satisfaction surveys um, to determine whether or not the product as a whole uh, but then each individual feature or major features in your product 
um, you know, how they how they stack up along these dimensions. OK, um, so that is the the heart framework, again, as, as a, an accompaniment to uh, the pirate metrics model at their strategic level. The heart framework can really help you when you're doing, you know, user interaction, uh, usability testing, user interviews, surveys and so on. Um, it just takes the those same metrics, those same success drivers and just pivots it to be from the user perspective, uh, which can be really powerful. So um, thank you so much for that. If you have any questions, uh, please give me a comment. Send me an email at eric at fullcycleproduct.com. Um, as always, you know, please go to fullcycleproduct.com, uh, take a look at my book, my online course for startup founders. Um, and if you need help with a, a data-driven product strategy, um, I am focusing all of my consulting efforts on this. And uh, this is going to be, you know, my big thing for the rest of this year and then going on into next year. Um, I'm working on being a, a partner with some uh, top tier analytic tools and, and I'll kind of leave that until that's fully baked. Um, but this is something that I'm, I'm doing a lot of work with my clients and seeing a lot of great success. So getting out there, capturing customer feedback, um, baking that into some, some data models, some reports, um, funneling it through you know, this data-driven um, roadmap and, and product strategy planning process, um, and then you know, doing the, um, the A-B testing, the cohort analytics, and so on and so forth to, again, measure the impact uh, of the work that we're doing. So if you need any kind of help, feel free to reach out. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great day.